If you were to find out the distance between binary data, then this is how you'll be calculating that. Yeah, distances for binary data. Say you have Carrie, Sam and Miranda. Think about these as three different universities and think about these three as your features. Married, smoker and manager is your features. Think in that way. Now what you do is, say you want to calculate the distance between Carrie and Miranda, then you, you, you put this, you know, dummy variable and you try to calculate in this way. In how many places do you have carry no and Miranda no? In zero places, right? Here it is yes and no, yes and no, yes and yes. You do not have a no and no. You don't have no and no for carry and Miranda. So it's zero. In zero places I have no and no. Then for carry no and Miranda yes, do you have any instance? No, I don't have. Carry no, Miranda yes. Carry no, Miranda yes. I don't have even a single instance, so it's zero there. Now, do I have an instance where carry is yes and Miranda no? Carry yes and Miranda no, there is one instance. Carry, yes, Miranda. No, there are two instances. So you get a two there. And in how many instances do I have carry, yes, and Miranda, yes? Carry, yes, Miranda, yes. No, I don't have in this instance. I don't have in this instance. In this instance, I have carry as yes and Miranda as yes. So one instance, so it's one there. Now I'll make this calculation a, a very generic calculation. So I'm just coming up with A, B, C, and D for these locations. Now there are three different ways of calculating the distance for binary data. Step one. Sorry, my mind. Let me choose this. Yeah. Step one. Binary Euclidean distance. How do you calculate that? B plus C divided by A plus B plus C D plus D. So you're looking into those instances where both carry and Miranda are different. So this B is carry no Miranda yes B. And in this instance you have carry yes and Miranda no B, C. So it will be B plus C divided by A plus B plus C plus D. So what is this capturing? If you give attention, this is capturing the dissimilarity between two records. So because no and yes is corresponding, uh, the corresponding value is B. Yes and no, the corresponding value is C. So you have B plus C. So this measure is capturing the degree of dissimilarity. And you have this measure, which is simple matching coefficient. No and no, yes and yes. No, no, yes, yes. So it is capturing the similarity, right? In both places, no, both places, yes. This is capturing the degree of similarity. And that's called a simple matching coefficient. A plus D divided by total count. So if you want for this data set, Carrie and Miranda, if you want to calculate binary Euclidean distance, it is nothing but 0 plus 2 divided by 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1, A plus B plus C plus D. You just compare these two, you'll get that. So the answer would be 2 by 3, which is 0 0.666, whatever be. That's your binary Euclidean distance. And if you want to calculate the simple matching coefficient for this carry Miranda, how would you do that? A plus D. A is 1, D is, uh, sorry, A is 0 and D is 1. So it will be 0 plus 1 
divided by 0 plus 0, A plus B plus C. Yeah. And then you get 1 by 3, which is 0.33. So now there is a third measure, third, third way of calculating the distance, which is Jacquard's coefficient. The logic here is that if two people are undergoing this data science tutorial, those two people are similar to each other in comparison to many different people who are not undergoing this tutorial. Many people are not undergoing this tutorial. Right? How can you say those, those people who do not undergo this tutorial are similar? Instead, two people who are undergoing this tutorial are similar. That makes more sense. So look at this. We are looking into only D, which is yes and yes. Two people having no and no does not make them similar. Two people having, you know, common similarities, yes and yes, that makes them similar. So the formula is B by B plus C plus D. So two people being dissimilar is actually removed from the calculation. And if you want to calculate the distance, Jacquard's coefficient using that, it is D by B plus C plus D. D is 1. So it's 1 upon B plus C plus D. B plus C plus D. So it is 0 plus 2 plus 1, which is once again equal to 1 by 3, which is 0 0.33. All right. So once again, Jacquard's coefficient. If two people are undergoing this tutorial, they are similar. As opposed to two people not undergoing this tutorial. How many people are there on this planet who are not undergoing the tutorial? A lot of people, right? Can I say that all those people are similar? I cannot say so. How many people are undergoing this tutorial? Very few. Are the people undergoing this tutorial having a, having a common objective? They all want to probably get into data science. Probably all of them uh, want to earn more salaries. Probably all of them want to have some kind of a better future. So they have similar characteristics. As opposed to people who do not want to undergo this tutorial. Here you have only two categories, yes and no. If you have greater than two categories, how do you deal with that? For example, mm, let me choose a scenario wherein you are opting for insurance policy through a bank and there is person one who chooses HSBC for the insurance. Another person goes with say standard chatter the third person goes with hsbc and the fourth person say he goes with ic ica bank that's indian national uh, indian based bank basically all right now if you calculate the distance between person one and person two for instance distance will be equal to one because these two are dissimilar Distance between person 1 and 3 is equal to 0 because both are the same. Distance between person 1 and person 4 is equal to 1 because it's HSBC and as I said, different. So wherever you have different instances, it is equal to 1. Wherever both items are of the same category, you give the distance as zeros. Period. This is how you calculate the distance if you have greater than two categories.